it's not looking good anywhere really. Uh, it's, so th it's the, the question is only in relative terms if you were to move your money from as one asset class to the other. Uh, but as I said, the, the overwhelming f sentiment is one of fear. But the, the depreciating rupee may have positive consequences for the IT industry. Uh, what does this mean for the IT industry? How is the industry positioned? What are companies doing? I'm joined by Vineet Nair, Vice Chairman of Tech Mahindra. Uh, in this conversation, Vinit, thank you so much Anil, for joining us today. Uh, let me begin by asking you about your own, your, own, your own reading of what's going on globally. There's been quite a bit of turmoil in the financial markets. There's been quite a bit of concern over growth in China. Uh, as an IT company, how are you looking at all of, the, at all of this? Oh, well, uh, let's look at the uh, rupee in totality. I do think that uh, rupee was overvalued and ne it needed adjustment. I don't see any economic fundamentals which w should make a currency harder than Australian dollar, Canadian dollar, euro and pound sterling. If you see the last year, this is, uh, rupee had hardened against all these currencies. Mm. And I don't believe that our fundamentals, howsoever good they may be or may not be, truly justified uh, this kind of movement. The only currency which is uh, shot ahead of us in hardness is US dollar. But that is for multiple reasons which you all know. Uh, and uh, other currencies have adjusted to a lower level as it should. So I am neither overly worried in fact, I feel that rupee required uh, to go down for the simple reason our exports are languishing. It will have a positive impact on our exports and I'm not talking of IT alone. I think it will make us more competitive in all other outputs which, uh, uh, which uh, we export. So net-net, I think it is a positive. Sure. Yes, the markets have undergone a bit of turmoil. They go up and they go down, but that wouldn't worry me. I think what we need to look at is the fundamentals of our own economy rather than anything else. Point taken, sir. Mr. Nair, you know, one specific question about Tech Mahindra itself. Uh, uh, nearly 40, 45, 47 percent of your revenues come from the United States. Uh, is the fall in the rupee, how does that benefit you in, in the near term? Uh, does that make up for uh, weakness in overall demand? Uh, well, uh, in a way, it, uh, uh, it, I mean, I would admit it is a positive uh, and it would have an impact on the bottom line, albeit not a si very significant one because half our expenditure or more than half our expenditure is done in India. Uh, that is one part of it. But then we have to look at it the other way around also. It has hardened vis-a-vis -vis Europe, Euro, it has hardened vis-a-vis um, sterling. So net net, is it a wash? Perhaps not. Uh, there will be uh, a marginal uh, upside from the current currency situation, uh, but nothing to gloat about. Okay. Nothing dramatic. Uh, Ms. Nair, when you talk to clients overseas, particularly the, in, in the US, What's the sense that you're getting? Uh, uh, is growth happening as it was expected? Is it slower? Uh, are businesses willing to invest afresh? Is that translating into budgets? No, I, we are seeing an uptick in if you mean the US. We are seeing an uptick there. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to harvest a bit of that going forward. Would you say the same sentiment uh, applies to clients in, in Europe as well? Europe is going through a very different process. Mm. Namely, they realize that the cost structure they have built is an inefficient one. And if they have to become competitive, they would need to do something. And in technology, they are looking uh, far more favorably at outsourcing than they used to do traditionally. The only country which was always went in for outsourcing was UK. If I take the UK out, uh, rest of Europe, you are seeing uh, uh, a significant improvement 
in, in, in the environment in so far as IT companies in India is concerned. That doesn't mean that issues relating to their labor protection laws and other things have disappeared. But that's something they're willing to look at now, which they were not willing to do earlier. Uh, Mr. Hayad, I, I also want to focus on uh, the latest news from your stable of, of a license from the Reserve Bank of India for a payment bank. You're the, I think if I'm not wrong, you're the only IT player who's, who's received a license for the payment bank. Could you give us a sense of what the plan is and what do you hope to achieve? Uh, to, uh, to achieve? Well, it's part of the Prime Minister's plan to franchise a large population of India which was defranchised completely. Uh, I mean, it started with opening of the bank accounts. And lo and behold, uh, banks which were most averse to it gained significantly because of additional liquidity which flowed in. Uh, how do you bring in folks in the rural areas into our <clears throat> financial markets? And I think this is a one huge step. Uh, why us? Why are we getting into this? I think there are multiple reasons. One, we have a product. We, in fact, we have two products, Mobiquity and Mobile Money. Uh, and so far as Mobiquity is concerned, we are uh, using that for transferring uh, money into rural areas in over 30 countries in the world. I think uh, we do, if I mistake not, transactions worth a few billion dollars a month in Africa. We are in Bangladesh. We are doing it in Latin America. So we have a product ready and working at this point of time, which we can transport straight into India, into our own country. Uh, <clears throat> So, number two, we have Mahindra Finance, mm. uh, which works in the rural areas largely. Mm. And even otherwise, if you look at m and &M, it is, uh, or Mahindra's, it's a name very familiar in the rural areas because of the agriculture appliances and tractors. Sure. So net net, I thought we had all favorable factors in so far as the uh, our positioning was concerned and yes it is a long haul yes it will take time but i do believe as situation goes we were very well positioned for it and we therefore took the uh, made a bit for it okay mr Naya, thank you so much indeed for joining us with uh, with your perspective thank you so much indeed for your time Vinit Zayan from Tech Mahindra, they've got a banking, they've got a payment banks license, uh, and he was also talking about the impact of the currency on there. You're, li you're likely to see tech earnings for the quarter look good because the rupee, rupee is depreciating and clo moving closer to that 67 to the dollar mark. But as we end the show, uh, the question is will they or won't?